let me talk about uh, one theorem called the factor theorem. Now, a factor theorem is a theorem which has come from the remainder theorem. So before going to remainder theorem or factor theorem, let me talk about factor first. What is a factor? Okay, now factor has a relation to remainder. Say, when you divide, say, 15 by 2. Okay, so 2 goes in 15, 7 times exactly. And here, 1 is the remainder. So 2 is not a factor, is not a factor of 15, is not a factor of 15 because 2 doesn't exactly divide 15 because you have a remainder. But if you divide, say, 18 by 2, 2 times 9 is 18, or 2 goes in 18 9 times. So the remainder is 0. So there is no remainder. So 2 is a factor of 18. So when one number, suppose 15 is a 15 is not exactly divisible by 2, so 2 is not a factor of 18, but 2 is a factor of 8, so 2 is not a factor of 15, but 2 is a factor of 18, so I hope you understand that. So, before going to the factor theorem, the remainder theorem, I made a video on this, uh, you can watch uh, that video, the remainder theorem is very simple. It says that if p of x is divided by x minus a, okay, this is a linear polynomial, this is also a polynomial, when this polynomial p of x is divided by x minus a, the remainder is p of a. And here, in fact, the theorem, it's basically the same thing, that if p of x is divided by x minus a and remainder which is of course p of a is 0 if the remainder p of a which is based on the remainder theorem then what can you say this is a factor of this I can say x minus a is a factor of is a factor of p of x so let us take an example. It's always good to do examples to understand complicated theorems. Suppose p of x is x cubed minus 7x squared uh, plus 14x minus 8. And you're dividing by uh, x plus 1 or x minus 1. You're dividing by x minus 1. So let's first find the remainder. So the remainder, according to the remainder theorem, is p of 1, which is 1 cube is 1 minus 7 times 1 squared is 7 plus 14 minus 8. Okay, so this is how much? So this is 1 plus 14 minus 7 minus 8 which is 15 minus 15, so the remainder is 0. So if the remainder is 0, I can say that x minus 1 is a factor, is a factor of p of x. I'm not writing the whole polynomial. Okay, so let us take one more example. Uh, say, let me say p of x is 9x squared minus 6x plus 2. You're dividing by uh, 3x, 3x minus 2. Okay, so yeah, the remainder would be a bit complicated, but let us do that complicated thing. So the remainder, according to the remainder theorem, would be p of 2 thirds of 2 thirds because if you set this equal to 0 3x minus 2 is equal to 0 I can say 3x is equal to 2 so x is 2 thirds so the remainder would be uh, the remainder would be p of 2 thirds 
So which is nine times two third squared minus six times two thirds plus two. Okay, so yeah, so what happens? So this is nine times, this is four ninths. Uh, so this is minus 12 over 3 plus 2. So this and this gets cancelled. 3 goes in 12 4 times. So this is 4 minus 4 plus 2. So the remainder is 2. So what can you say? It's not a factor. So this implies uh, 3x minus 2 is not a factor. of p of x, which is 9x squared minus 6x plus 2.